welcome to the Holly Jolly Life. Today I'm going to be playing with purple potatoes. My friend Jessica gifted me some purple potatoes and um, I just can't wait to play around with them. I'm going to be doing mostly roasted purple potatoes, but I also want to do a very small pot of mashed potatoes just to see what they would look like because I think that would be really cool. So I just wanted to show you the inside of one of these potatoes. These are technically blue potatoes, but I just think that purple sounds so much more fun. Yeah. This is what the inside looks like. Can you see that? They're so beautiful. They kind of look like geodes. This one isn't, you know, as pigmented as the other one. So I'm going to be cutting these and putting them in the mashed potatoes because I just think that that would give us the coolest color. I picked out the ones that I thought were the most pigmented for the mashed potatoes. I'm just gonna cut them. So cool. I just really love cutting them. It's so satisfying. Look at that. Okay, let's get these in the water. I just put these in there and the water is turning blue. I kid you not, that is so cool. I had not a few more. I'm gonna roast the rest of these. See, some of them just aren't quite as pigmented. Okay, so the ones that we're gonna use for mashed potatoes are boiling. The water is very blue. And these we're doing for roasted potatoes are ready. I just gotta season them now. Okay, here we go. Let's see what happens whenever we roast these. I've never roasted these before. So this is not a tried and true recipe from Holly Bailey. This is an experiment. I'm just gonna put the rest of this parsley on there. Doesn't really add flavor. I just think it's fancy. Black pepper. Okay. You know I'm about to be putting garlic po garlic powder all over this. Garlic powder, yeah. There we go. A little bit of onion powder. Just, we don't. We don't really need to go too crazy with it. Just some. Okay. Dill wheat. If you have a seasoning of uh, ranch, like a packet of ranch dressing mix, that'd probably be great on this actually. And salt. I've got my oven set at 425 and I'm going to put these in there for 40 minutes and I'm going to stir it halfway through. These are turning very blue. Here is um, water and salt on the potatoes. No food coloring of any kind. Doesn't need it. It is so strange. Here's what our potatoes look like now that they're cooked. Go away, Steam. Try to show, show you off. Okay, and we're going to add two tablespoons of butter and some milk. Well, let's mix them up first and see what happens if we need milk. That butter might be enough to do us some good. And I just saved. The blue water, I don't know why. I just thought it was so cool. I'm gonna do some cracked black pepper and some salt. Okay, 
Here are the purple potatoes. They look like they should be cake frosting. So strange. Let's see how they taste. I only made a little because I just wanted to experiment. That's not the main thing that I was gonna make today, so. I'm gonna taste these. I'm skeptical. They smell like regular potatoes. They taste fine except for I way over salted them. They just taste like regular potatoes. And this is the juice that came from them. So I was really surprised that they didn't end up turning blue like the juice did. They stayed purple. I did use only the super dark pigmented ones whenever I was um, making these. So maybe that's why they're so dark. Very interesting though. Okay, so the potatoes have come out of the oven and they are soft and they look really nice. And they are still purple, some of them. Some of them that weren't very pigmented look just like a regular potato, like a regular red potato. That one is super purple. They're just neat looking. And I'm sure they will be delicious. Thank you for watching the Holly Jolly Life while I was playing with purple potatoes and made a tiny bowl of purple mashed potatoes. Uh, if you're enjoying this channel, then like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.